Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Gary Doms, the president and CEO of TNM Associates. Gary, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very much for the invite. Well, let's dive in. You've been named by NJ Biz as a New Jersey business icon, by the New Jersey Institute of Technology as a force of for change honoree, and TNM was named one of the best places to work. What do these accolades mean to you? And as we're discussing creativity today, how does that speak to the creative manner in which you approach business? So my approach to business has been, has always been, that the employees, my employees, are top of mind in every decision and every initiative uh, I undertake or, or make. Uh, my employees are happy and uh, engaged and looking, for, looking forward to coming to work every day. Uh, and there are creative ways and innovative ways to do that. That's going to result in what these accolades uh, mean to the company and less to me. They are more a reflection on the culture of the company, the employees, and the um, achievements we achieve, we accomplish every day, both for the employees and the communities we work in. Gary, you oversee a leading multifaceted company. How is creativity and the drive to innovate mission critical to the continued success of the firm? Seven or eight years ago, we, my, myself and my senior leadership team, decided that in order to grow and be successful, we had to change our traditional engineering structure of a vertical geographic organization into a matrix organization, which is a little more complex and complicated and creative in our world. And the matrix organization consists of both the geographic organization vertically and a practice organization horizontally. And that provides opportunities in two different facets, one from an operational manager on the ops side and a practice leader opportunity on the practice side. Combined, that provides multiple opportunities for employees for career progression and multiple opportunities, basically double the opportunities for growth and um, uh, profitability on the business side. Rather unique and creative for a company our size, more typical in much larger companies, which ultimately we strive to become. And what are some of the particularly creative design or engineering solutions you and your team have implemented in the wake of today's market conditions? So not only the designs, but the switch, the rapid switch to remote work. And that in itself, the flexible work arrangements, flexible hours, flexible days in the office, that had been starting to occur in our business on March 13th, two years ago, accelerated from maybe a five-year evolution into a five-month process. I remember on March 13th, we sat around the uh, conference table here in the office and the headquarters and made a decision that come Monday, everybody is going to be working remote because of COVID. That rapid change, and we had been preparing leading up to it, was accomplished without a hiccup by our employees because of the incredible IT department we have, a lot of communication, and then that transition also occurred with our clients. Many of the projects and uh, clients that we work with require face-to-face -face meetings, public meetings to present the project, public meetings to review projects, all that in a matter of days went from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual. And the the creative team here at TNM Associates, working with our clients and guiding our clients, accomplished that and basically without losing a step in the uh, first six or eight months of the COVID uh, crisis. Gary, you took the firm from a local municipal engineering company to an organization that now has 350 employees across eight states. What were some of the challenges you faced that required creative, out of the box approaches? And what does the future of TNM Associates look like when you think of where you started versus where you're heading? So when I became president about 10 years ago, uh, the company was one of the largest engineering companies in the state of New Jersey. And in order to continue to grow, and as we know, businesses that don't grow die, as we ne needed to continue to grow, it became clear to me that we would had pretty much saturated the New Jersey market, being one of the top five engineering firms in the state. So the only way to really grow was to expand beyond the state boundaries 
And that required, uh, first of all, a vision. Second of all, being able to articulate that vision to first the senior leadership who many had not seen or thought about going outside of New Jersey and explaining and convincing and uh, getting buy-in on the reality, the real need and the reality of that uh, process. Once we had buy-in with that, we started with a strategic plan to accomplish strategic growth in areas where we could leverage our reputation in New Jersey and our expertise, and also diversify and grow our practices at the same time. It was my thought that it would be easier if I had a broader range of practices I could target with strategic hires than just the ones I'm familiar with. So we did a, again, the matrix organization, dual attacking it from two different angles. And uh, as you had mentioned, we are now in eight states, 19 offices in eight states, and have nearly doubled our employee count uh, in those 10 years. As we round out our discussion today, what role does creativity play in remaining competitive in today's landscape? So in today's landscape, uh, the biggest challenge we and our industry face is a shortage of engineers, a shortage of employees. The, uh, the great resignation didn't really happen. It was a great migration where employees are going between engineering companies. And one of the ways that we, TNM, have decided to combat that and uh, mitigate that is in the past year, we have recognized the importance of community and giving back to our communities and the charitable side of the business and how that fits within our culture and actually defines our culture. So along those lines, this year, we created a TNM Associates Foundation where the company and our employees and our vendors can support communities, support STEM education to again, early on in the middle schools and high schools start to generate the desire for students to become engineers to help feed our need for employees later on, giving back to our communities. Um, and also Operation Outreach, which is uh, helping employees or uh, communities in the homeless, et cetera, Habitat for Humanity. So it created a real focused effort by the company to support those needs. Another program we initiated this year was the TNM Associates Program. Um, not owners of the company, but rising leaders, rising stars, and provided them with um, additional business and management leadership training to help one, develop their own careers and also strengthen our core uh, management team itself. Uh, in that is Toastmasters, we have a local chapter of Toastmasters here at TNM. And one of the things that became very uh, obvious during COVID, coincidentally, was the initiative on the DEI uh, program. Diversity has always been a challenge in the engineering world where it's mostly white males. Uh, there is a very large trend and movement toward uh, great diversification in that. Uh, related to that, I sit on the board of NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology, one of the leading technology engineering schools in the state, and we also are looking at PEI. Um, so those are some of the non-traditional, more creative, innovative ways of attracting employees to come to TNM and importantly stay at TNM. Gary, it's interesting that you bring that up because in many of my interviews that I'm hosting, we are discussing the importance of incorporating DEI into company culture. And one of the greatest benefits of placing an emphasis on DEI is the ability to have a more creative work environment. And it seems that your company is achieving this. Exactly right. The, the perspectives and, and, and uh, insights that that diverse uh, population can bring to decisions, not only on running the business, but on design thoughts, design ideas, design concepts, has been readily evident in the last six or seven months that we've really undertaken this initiative. I'm very proud of the fact, by the way, that on the seven board of directors that I have here at TNM, two are women, and two women also sit in the C-suite of the company, the five C-suite. Very proud of that fact, and very thankful for the insight and, and expertise they bring to those positions. Well, thank you very much, Gary.
Thank you. That was Gary Doms, the president and CEO of TNM Associates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more CEOs and thought leaders share their opinions and advice on today's business climate. Until next time, I'm Abby Malone, and this has been Invest Insights. Thanks for tuning in.